Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for technical writing. So, let's get started. Question number one, what do you mean by white paper? The answer is, a white paper in technical writing refers to a concise and clear representation of the technical information about the product or service. A white paper refers to an authoritative technical report or guide which is used to convey technical information briefly and concisely, illustrating it in usually a guide of a single or few pages. Question number two, differentiate amongst MS Word and FrameMaker. The answer is, both MS Word and FrameMaker or Adobe FrameMaker is used in technical writing but they differ in their usage. MS Word is a word processing application software from Microsoft, is used for the development and maintenance of various document types like letters, memos, mailing lists, table of contents, and many more. Whereas FrameMaker or Adobe FrameMaker is targeted specifically for a large and complex business documents with options to export to print, web and CD-ROM. Question number 3, differentiate amongst structured FrameMaker and unstructured FrameMaker. The answer is, both structured FrameMaker and unstructured FrameMaker are from Adobe. The unstructured FrameMaker is the earlier version of the Adobe FrameMaker with a conventional interface having paragraph-based authoring. Whereas structured FrameMaker provides element-based authoring with features of unstructured FrameMaker and added function to author or publish XML documents. Question number 4, differentiate amongst XML and HTML. The answer is, both XML and HTML though are markup languages but have a lot of differences. HTML expands to hypertext markup language and is focused on displaying data on an HTML page, its attributes and positioning. Whereas XML expands to an extensible markup language is primarily used for data storage, structuring and representation independent of hardware and software. Question number 5, what is DDLC in technical writing? The answer is. DDLC in technical writing expands to document development life cycle which refers to the cyclic process of development of a document for more clarity and easy comprehension. Being a cycle it starts with requirement analysis of the need for the document to develop, designing of the document, developing the content of the document, editing or proofreading of the developed content or document, publishing the finalized document, and maintenance of the document then going back again to the first step of requirement analysis as the maintenance becomes non-feasible. Question number 6, what are the 7 phases of SDLC? The answer is, SDLC expands to the software or systems development life cycle and is a cyclic process of development of a system or software. The new 7 phases of SDLC include, first phase of SDLC is planning, the next phase is analysis, then designing, next is development, then testing, then implementation, and the last phase is maintenance. Question number 7, what are popular publication tools for technical writing? The answer is, some of the essential and popular tools for technical writing are WordPress, Whatfix, MediaWiki, Adobe RoboHelp, Notepad++, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator. Question number 8, what is topic-based authoring in technical writing? The answer is, Topic-based authoring in technical writing refers to a type of content authoring which involves developing content specific to topics that can be reused or mixed and matched, as per requirements instead of linear authoring as for a book. Question number 9, How to deliver technical content? The answer is, Technical content delivery can be effectively and efficiently done by application programming interface or API-based medium as it not only instructs the manner of usage of API but also provides an interface for integration in any system whether internal or external. Question number 10. What steps do you follow to develop a new topic for a technical writing project? The answer is. Developing a new topic for a technical writing project involves. Collecting all available information on the topic keeping the end user in focus that is from instructions, the internet, and many more. Then specific details on the topic as needed from the subject matter experts is collated and noted in meeting with the SMEs. After collation of all relevant information, it is organized and the first draft is readied which is reviewed and the final copy is sent for final approval. Question number 11. How will you approach subject matter experts for your tasks? The answer is. I approach subject matter experts as per the task defined and requirement for information for the development of technical documentation. 
Before approaching SMEs I prepare beforehand by listing content details needed or questions to be answered by SMEs. Most sessions with SMEs are arranged by the company as per feasibility to both of us and sometimes I use my contact and my network to access a suitable SME by email and arrange a meeting if needed. Any details needed from SME for clarity, are sent over email to engage SMEs as brief as possible. Question number 12, describe the utility of RoboHelp. The answer is, RoboHelp or Adobe RoboHelp is a help authoring tool, for developing engaging help content, knowledge base articles and e-learning resources with easy navigation and support for popular content formats for various platforms. Adobe RoboHelp can create responsive HTML5 layouts which are accessible on any device. Question number 13, describe XSD as an XML language. The answer is, XSD expands to XML schema definition as an integral part of an XML document which defines the structure and data types for XML documents. Details of the elements and attributes are listed in it. It is also used for verification of each element the XM document is per its description. Question number 14. What do you understand by API documentation? The answer is. API documentation refers to delivering technical content with instructions to usage integration with other systems. It lists the functions, classes, return types and arguments with detailed examples for usage and integration. Question number 15. As a technical writer what steps do you take to plan your work? The answer is. Planning one's work is very important as it helps in scoping as per requirement and focusing on the end reader. Hence. At first the scope is developed after which it is specific tasks are developed and a schedule is prepared for delivery as per the priority of the task. Thus, this helps in time management and avoiding distractions. Question number 16. What are the roles and responsibilities of a technical writer? The answer is. A technical writer is responsible for development of documentation for the product or service which could be for technical users or end users which involves a good understanding of the product or service taking help from subject matter experts for better understanding and then illustrating the technical concepts or techniques by diagrams, videos and more. Technical writing also involves creating instructions, e-learning courses. Their main responsibility is to make technical content easy to understand. Question number 17. What are the software tools used for technical writing? The answer is. Many software tools are used by technical writers for technical writing depending upon the specific requirement whether it is management or development of document, blogs, e-learning, video, and more. Commonly used software tools are Adobe RoboHelp, for interactive content, WordPress, for information in blogs, Notepad++, any coding-related documentation, Microsoft Visio, for diagrams and charts, Powtoon, for animated videos, Madcap Flare for help authoring, Windows Snipping Tool, for screen capture, and Camtasia, to record and edit videos. Question number 18. How will a technical writer use UML? The answer is. UML expands to unified modeling language and is used for modeling systems and processes. UML is particularly useful in system design visualization, structuring and standardizing a common modeling language. UML facilitates specification visualization and construction of system models by developers thus, easing the technical writing process for a technical writer along with the SMEs or subject matter experts. Question number 19, is there any challenging situation you faced as a technical writer? The answer is, yes, there was a challenging situation that had a tight deadline but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we were facing severe delays. I coordinated with the IT team for adding video conferencing to all stakeholders and team members to speed up and catch up. We also kept the client in the loop and they were considerate and appreciative of our efforts. After the lockdown was lifted we increased our speed of delivery and were able to deliver within the deadlines. Question number 20. How do you manage the client's data related to a technical writing project? The answer is. Technical writing involves access to a client's sensitive or proprietary data which needs to be secured. A detailed assessment is done related to the level of data access to be provided to different employees. We use role-based data access to data so that only designated employees or team members access that data as per their role or contribution to the project. Question number 21. How do you assign goals to your technical writing team? The answer is. Technical writing projects are to be successfully delivered on time and within the budget. Hence, goals need to be defined and assigned accordingly. 
Goals are first defined as per the SMART approach then as per the availability, skills and past performance of the team members, goals are assigned. Question number 22. How do you keep yourself updated on new trends in technical writing? The answer is. Technical writing is being impacted by various new technologies which aim to reduce costs and increase efficiency. Every year I keep myself updated by regularly following industrial and professional newsletters, attending industry seminars, conferences from various professional bodies and vendors of technical writing tools, as available online or offline. Question number 23, what are your strengths as a technical writer? The answer is, as a technical writer, my greatest strength is my interest in technology and writing as well as my managerial skills in managing a team which has helped in succeeding in my career as a technical writer. I have gained exhaustive experience in the technical writing tools as well as managing the technical writing team. Question number 24, how do you manage conflict in your technical writing team? The answer is, disagreements amongst technical writing team members lead to conflicts and hence, the reason for disagreement is assessed. As per the situation, we apply the conflict management techniques of collaborating, forcing, accommodating or compromising. Question number 25, how you will manage the underperformance of your subordinates in the technical writing team? The answer is, managing underperformance by technical writing team members is an important aspect of team management. Management of underperformance requires identifying and assessing the reason for the underperformance. We also have an open discussion with the team members to understand their views for addressing the underperformance. Question number 26. How do you maintain paperwork involved in technical writing? The answer is. Technical writing involves a multitude of information in paper modes like approvals, plans, and more. Hence, to address the huge paperwork, we mostly use electronic data for data storage and minimize paperwork. We also apply document organization to arrange required paperwork with the organization is done as per the priority of the document which helps to maintain paperwork involved in technical writing. Question number 27. How do you manage your time for technical writing related tasks? The answer is. Technical writing for a project involves various tasks to be completed in a specific time frame with the required key performance indicators. Hence time management becomes essential and is achieved by using to-do lists being aware of time wasters and optimizing my work environment. Question number 28, why you are suitable as a technical writer? The answer is, as a technical writer, I am having extensive experience in most of the software tools of technical writing with required managerial skills of communication, problem solving and coping under pressure as essential for a technical writing role. Question number 29, what will be your contribution to our organization as a technical writer? The answer is, as a technical writer, I will contribute by applying my technical writing skills to add efficiency and effectiveness to the technical writing process and increase profits to the organization. I had implemented automation in the technical writing processes earlier which had greatly benefited in quality and efficiency of the process. Question number 30, explain the need for using a callout. The answer is, a callout refers to an explanation of a specific element pointed by an arrow or line with text explaining the element is present in a box or circle or similar graphic. Details provided in callout clarifies and illustrates the pointed element. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.